for James O'Brien. Yeah, last night it was an absolute uh, failure on your part um, to present the show. Be you were making it like a, a comedy show. You were taking the piece out of uh, people that had genuine concern about the Euless, okay? And every time you made fun of them, uh, just because some people were not able to put the the message across e eloquently, like perhaps, you know, you would do, um, but you were making fun of them. You have no right to make fun just because they don't agree with you, you know. You, everybody was absolutely disgusted by your behavior because you are supposed to host the show and be um, impartial. You're supposed to be impartial with this show, not sticking up for Khan and making fun of people that have genuine concern about the Euless issue, okay? Now, the, the other thing is, uh, if you don't agree with him, then that's it, you, you're finished, you know? So unprofessional. If people don't agree with, with James O'Brien, then he always does the same thing on his shows as well, you know. James O'Brien, you are a bully. That's what you are on all your shows. And last night, that was supposed for the people, for us, for our concern, not for you to make a, a comedy show out of it by insulting people and tell an example, telling people that they got no one to go home to. How dare you? You don't know these people's uh, life. Um, they, they might have some issue with their life and they, they might have health problem. They, they might have all sorts of problems. You don't know that. You cannot say to people or oh, go home and uh, go home to your, your lonely self or, or whatever. They might just have lost somebody in their life. You don't know. You cannot do that. That is out of order. You are a disgrace, James O'Brien. And last night, you proved it, okay? You're very condescending, you're very arrogant, and you're very bully. You bully people around just because they don't agree to your narrative. Last night, you're a disgrace. You shouldn't be allowed to host that show any longer because you are too pally with uh, um, Mayor Khan, first of all, yeah? You two just want to go reverse Brexit. Now, last night, you said, Mayor Khan, that you were democratically re-elected, and that's fair enough. We have no problem with that, okay? But what about the Brexit vote? That was a democratic vote, but you no, know, that's not right for you, is it? That's not right for you, is it? The democratic Brexit vote. Oh no, you don't like that. Oh yeah, that's nice and easy, isn't it? Do as we say, not as we do, yeah? It's just like the Euless, isn't it? You can drive around in, a, in two uh, big cars. You can fly to Rome to see the Pope, but we have to obey by the, the silly rules that you put in place. You destroyed businesses, you destroyed family lives, you destroy a lot of people. And guess what? You've lost the battle of the ULES expansion, okay? Because, let me tell you, 280 million of unpaid fine, you won't get a penny out of that. Thousands of cameras being destroyed, yes. As soon as they go up, they come down. The people have spoken. And if they're not down, they're painted or stickered. So you don't get any money out of that. How much more money are you gonna throw at that? Yeah, tell us how much more money you're gonna spend on this, failure of the ULES expansion. 
we got useless free zones all around London. Big in Hill, there are no cameras there, no useless camera. Illingdon, there are no useless camera. The people, Bromley and, um, and Bexley, the people have spoken. You are losing the battle of the Euless expansion. Give it up right now. It's not working out for you, Mayor Khan. No matter how much propaganda you put around about your clean air, the Euless expansion is dead. Euless is dead when you expanded it. Take it away now.